to have a four-star hotel in the middle of a Mexico haven. Uh, because it's, it's crawling with Mexicans. I saw cars there with Mexican license plates. Uh, you get the distinct feeling that a lot of these people are actually the people that work in the underground bases that are in the area. Because uh, Dulce's not too far from Durango. Uh, and neither is Taos. And all these all these these bases easily get to underground. Because they're all connected by these uh, shuttles. Uh, I don't know anything about a Mexico bombing. Um... But I throw that in about Durango. Um, another question. When one mentions the name Jehovah, are they basically referring to Yahweh? Uh, J was never, J is not even in the Hebrew alphabet. J is an English letter. And the Hebrew would be Yehovah. It would be Yehovah. Um, and then the same thing as Yahweh. And because people argue, you know, what came first, the V or the W in the, in the Hebrew language. Uh, it's actually pronounced ya <sighs> Yahua. <laughs> it's not really a V or a W. It's like a U O H type thing. Very hard to pronounce. Uh, but he knows who you're talking about. Uh, Killing what's known, you think we'll start to visibly see Planet X. You know, people send me pictures of it all the time. So I don't know why we can't see it in some places. And other people are seeing it all the time. Uh, it's coming, folks, and then this planet's just pure filth and evil. It's carrying, uh, it's a dragon planet, it's carrying Satan's forces. Uh, so when he arrives on Earth, they will be here to help conquer. Uh, because inside of it, it's a hollow, hollow planet. And it has all of his, uh, forces in it, not all of them. A lot of them here under the Earth. Just some extra backup forces. And this is the war we've been waiting for. This is the war I've been fighting for years. Is for the arrival and the coming of this Maitreya and this Jesus, this Sananda. Uh, the 144,000, you know, we've been fighting this, getting ready for this for years. I love getting emails from these people. Uh, just because it's so funny. They don't ask me when the rapture is going to happen. They ask me when the freaks are coming. Because uh, they're preparing for them, you know. Uh, we've been getting ready with Orgone for years so that when they come here... They're going to realize they can't stay here. They can't stand to be around here. Uh, because the Orgon burns them. And so it's going to kill a lot of them. And it's just going to be this... Uh, literally... Uh, what would look like a weaponless war. Uh, because we're not using guns and knives to take down these aliens. Uh, we're, we're just throwing positive and, and, and light energy sources out in the world, which is Orgon. To assimilate in the air... And then just by just breathing the air, it burns them. And so it's going to be a great war. I mean, we've been we've been getting ready for this for years. Uh, right from somebody email. How how are you? I we'll hope. Uh, do you think they have piercings and other thing of God? Uh, no. Uh, you know where is that Leviticus or Deuter Deuteronomy where it forbids Israel from getting piercings? You not to pierce or mark your body. Uh, and that's the same thing: piercing an eyebrow, or earring. Um, that's what the Bible says, the Old Testament. Doesn't the name Yahushua mean Jesus? No, Jesus means horse. Jesus. And then Yeshua means horse. Uh, Yahushua means salvation. And, and the churches will tell you, oh, that, you know, that, uh, Jesus means salvation and all this. Jesus means a horse. And so don't fall for it, folks. Fall by his real name, Yahushua. Uh, so that there's no conflict when he comes claiming he's Jesus. Sherry, silver balloon coins are still reasonably priced to repurchase a few before 2008. Would that just be a waste of time? You know what? Take your money and go out and buy some food. Buy some food, buy some supplies. Uh, if you couldn't go to the store for the next six months, what would you need? Because, you know, there's going to be a famine, the stores are going to be empty. Start thinking ahead on how you're going to survive. Uh, because the famine will start in 2008. Most notably will start in the Middle East first and then come over here. Uh, because he plans on going to war with Israel. Uh, and destroying their harvest, which would be in May, the first fruits. Uh, the rapture of the 144,000 wouldn't be until the following May. May of 2009. So you're going to be here for about a year. Uh... And so during that year, all of next year, till May of 2009, 
there's going to be wars, famines, and plagues, and pestilences. And so that's what you need to prepare for. Uh, also, very likely, in the United States, could trigger martial law, although I believe martial law uh, really won't get uh, triggered until 2009. I think when this Jesus arrives in September, because he's going to arrive in September with his heavenly host, all these demonic beings with these little devices to, that they can switch on to make them look like angelic beings uh, glowing in light. He's going to arrive in September. And what the whole setup has been with that, folks, is that the churches for years, who, who don't even follow the Torah either, uh, but for some reason have picked up the Jewish festival of Rosh Hashanah, which is not even called Rosh Hashanah in the Torah. It's the Feast of Trumpets. In the Talmud, it's called Rosh Hashanah. Uh, but the churches have been teaching that Jesus would come during the festival of Rosh Hashanah because Paul says uh, he comes with the sound of a trumpet. And so it's been a big setup to get all these whores and these harlot churches and, apost and apostasies they're in to, to expect the coming of the Son of God in September, the Rosh Hashanah. And you know what they're going to get? They're going to get Sananda. They're getting this Jesus. That's when he comes. And the whole church has been conditioned to believe it's the Jesus, the real Yahushua Son of God that's coming at that time. Uh, and when he comes, the first thing he's going to do uh, is implement martial law uh, and implement uh, uh, joining his kingdom, implementing the mark of the beast. Uh, and so that and so that all this is going to take place uh, in September, October of 2009. And the church expecting this guy to be Jesus. And when he comes in the clouds and he looks like the Jesus that's his pictures up in all these churches, and that, and that was clever from Michelangelo because he was a mason. Uh, he was involved in the whole Brotherhood Secret Society things. And what he did was paint a picture of this Sananda, this, this Jesus that's coming in the last days, and say, hey, church, this is Jesus. <laughs> this, is, this was a depicting of Jesus, the Son of God. And so the church has had it hanging in their, in their churches for years. Uh, and they've been worshiping this Sananda, this false Jesus. And so he's coming in September of 2009. And I think that's basically sometime shortly after is when the Mark of the Beast will be implemented. Uh, and so before then, I believe the First Fruits Rapture will take place in May of 2009. Uh, because Pentecost is the festival of the First Fruits. And I uh, can't tell you a date because, like I said, our calendars are so messed up and haywire. Uh, just trying to, to pin a, a correct date now for feasts is, is crazy. Uh, and so I do believe, though, it'll be in May. Uh, sometime around the festival, the Feast of Pentecost. Not exactly on the date, because like I said, I don't think any of us have a clue as to when the exact dates are. I think the closest we can get is just trying to figure out the Qumran calendar, the ancient Qumran calendar, to today's our calendar, and trying to put it all in English. Uh, it can be very difficult. And especially because uh, sometimes some of these dates go from sundown to sundown, and other times they're just on a particular day, and they're all day long. Uh, so we've got some things coming up. Uh, Yah means salvation. Yahushua and Yahweh, both father and son's names are rooted in salvation. Yeah, because Yah means God in Hebrew. Uh, Yahweh, uh, Yah's way, God's way. Uh, and Yahushua, uh, the Father's salvation, Yah's salvation, whatever. And so I have those articles on my website, back to Yahweh.com. Okay, so somebody's seeing empty spaces on the grocery stores the last few months. Haven't seen that here. Uh, but you know what? It's just a matter of time, folks. It's just a matter of time. Some of you are waiting too long uh, to get out there and spend some money and, and, and I know a lot of you don't even have money and so you just need to pray and ask the Lord you know what angers me nothing gets me going uh, worse than to know that there's these people with hundreds of thousands of dollars sitting in the bank that's just going to go to naught because the banks are going to close you're not going to get your money out and you could have spent that money buying food for fellow warriors buying food for people who are needing it stocking up for yourself people buying homes getting loans on cars get real get real uh, you know, you're gonna need a, you know, what's your fancy house gonna do when you're starving to death? You know, uh, what would be really funny is to see people bribing all these, uh, 